A new proposal would put expanded liquor sales to a vote by each county. The bill supported by the group on Cork, Kansas, is being debated by lawmakers today. New at 5, Cakes Deb Fair is here with how this bill is different and why opponents call it another game of bait and switch. Deb? Well, Chris, if passed, Senate Bill 298 would put the issue of selling liquor and full strength beer in grocery and convenience stores to the voters. It's the latest in a long list of bills being debated at the State House. This time, though, many supporters are confident it will pass. RJ Discount Liquor in Wichita is locally owned and has been for 15 years. I've got people that depend on me for their living. Some of them are going to school. Some of them have served in the military. My full-time employees, I, I have benefits for them. Jeff Bro has been fighting the group Uncork Kansas for years, arguing that allowing liquor sales in grocery and convenience stores will put him out of business. So far, he's been on the winning end, but a new bill would allow the issue to go to the voters. Each county could put the question on the ballot. It's simply more bait and switch on the part of large out-of-state corporations to try to put Kansas-owned businesses out of business. Proponents of the county option bill say this is the best way to determine what Kansans really want. I'm seeing modernization taking place everywhere. And when you put things on a ballot, uh, when people have the chance to really look at it and make the decision. The bill would allow supermarkets and other retailers to sell liquor, wine, and full-strength beer in counties that approve the measure through the local election. Supporters say it would be more convenient for shoppers, but opponents like Jeff Bro argue it will hurt him and the roughly 750 other Kansas liquor stores in the state. We're fighting every year. Now, if this bill was debated, uh, the bill rather was debated in a Senate committee today, it's expected to go before the full legislature sometime after the April break.